Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir and I'm a lead developer for InfiniSpan at Mint Console. In this video we're going to demonstrate uh, how to add a cache configuration template to an existing cache containing container running on InfiniSpan server cluster. So first go to the uh, cache container that we have configured here called cluster and in configuration of this uh, cache container we're going to go to the Templates tab. And on the Templates tab, we have a, a list of all existing cache configuration templates, namely transactional, async, persistent file store. But in this case, uh, we're going to create a new template where we can select a base configuration, which is one of these existing templates that we have just listed. And uh, we need to fill out the name. So let's call it a demo template and uh, let's not select any base configuration click next we are presented with a familiar um, cache configuration screens with the navigational tabs on the left hand side that are shortcuts for the specific uh, configuration sections like memory indexing, compatibility, transaction security, and so on. So in a general uh, tab on the main section, we can select the type of this configuration template. Let's say we can make a distributed cache. These are the uh, clustering and monitoring settings. We can uh, specify the, let's say, locking part of the configuration. Uh, we are presented with the default values for uh, the fields like acquire timeout, concurrency level, isolation, and so on. So we have configured uh, locking, and um, let's uh, configure expiration as well. So life uh, lifespan is uh, minus one. These are default values, and the hints for these. Uh, values are provided on the tooltips. So for example, minus one means that the entries never expire. So let's put a value here of, let's say, 3000 seconds. Uh, so we go and click create. And the demo template is uh, listed here at the bottom. We can go and review these values for locking that we just created and expiration. So now we can go back to the uh, clustered cache and when we add a new cache like we have seen in previous videos we just simply select demo template, select demo cache and click create cache. And that's it. We have created this mem, uh, sorry we have created the demo cache with the selected uh, configuration template.